from providing nourishing milk to cultivating vast fields with their gentle grazing. Cows play a vital role in our lives. But have you ever pondered the intricate details of the reproductive organ? Let's delve into the remarkable intricacies of the cow's reproductive organ. Now, let's take a closer look at the cow's reproductive system. Here, you can see the bifurcation which divides the reproductive and urinary tracts. Oviduct that guides the eggs from the ovary to the uterus and is the site of fertilization. Uterine body which provides a space for embryo development. The anterior and posterior vagina it functions as a passageway for mating and acts as a pathway for birthing. Vulva, an external part that protects the internal reproductive organs. Uterine horn, which houses developing embryos and ovary, which produces eggs and hormones. The cervix, which serves as a barrier between the uterus and vagina, allows firm entry during estrus. And lastly, the bladder which is not a part of the reproductive organ but is essential for the storage of urine produced by the kidney. Upon closer inspection, we carefully dissect the uterine body, revealing a notable presence of white fluid. This fluid is recognized as amniotic fluid, which plays a vital role as it encapsulates and nurtures the developing embryo within its protective environment. The embryo that was obtained was carefully examined under a microscope. Inside the uterine body, we discovered several small, bumpy structures known as the caruncles. These play a crucial role as a site for attachment during pregnancy, facilitating the nourishment and development of the growing embryo. Here, you can see the perimetrium, caruncles, mesometrium, and the endometrium. Giving emphasis to the broad ligaments, we can see here the mesometrium, which supports the uterus, mesosalphings enclosing the fallopian tubes within the broad ligaments and attaches the ovaries to the broad ligament. We also have the uterine horn, uterotubule junction, ampulla, isthmus, and infundibulum, which serves as a major channel of the female reproductive tract. The ovary was cut and viewed under the microscope revealing the tertiary follicle and corpus luteum. In this part, we tried to retrieve the oocyte by using a syringe. Upon dissection of the cervix, it reveals the presence of three distinct annular rings. These rings are like circles in the structure of the cow cervix. The dissection continues posteriorly, uncovering the fornix, external cervical os, and anterior vagina. The fornix acts as like a pocket providing space for various reproductive activities. Meanwhile, the external cervical os serves as a gateway between the uterus and the vagina, regulating the passage of fluids and facilitating processes such as menstruation and reproduction. Further towards the rear is the posterior vagina, labia, and clitoris. The posterior vagina serves as a passage for birthing. The clitoris is a sensitive organ related to sexual arousal, and the labia provides protective covering. In the pelvic region, we can see the urethra, which serves as a tube through which the urine is expelled from the bladder to the exterior of the body. In the external part of the reproductive organ, we can visibly see the labia, clitoris, and anus. Thank you for joining us on this educational journey. Always remember that curiosity is the key that unlocks the doors of knowledge. Happy learning!